have to be Dan. And today in the Fox 13 Kitchen, Jen Burns is teaching us how to make chicken with a lot of flavors. So you must be adding something to it, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> nope, just actually nothing at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> just chicken. Just chicken. No, that would be bland. And there is there are ways to absolutely do a heart-healthy meal like a boneless, skinless chicken breast, which is what we're using, and flavor it up. And this is how we're going to do it, a couple different ways. Right over here is my delicious-looking chicken breast. Um, and I'm just going to actually flavor that up, a little salt and pepper. We're going to start it in the pan. Then I'm going to make a little bit of a sauce with some low-sodium soy sauce, a little bit of crushed red pepper, some lime juice, and some no-salt seasoning, which is always the way to go. Um, and then we also are going to get a little bit of honey in there. And we're going to then put that into the pan with the chicken as it starts to cook. You could also do this exact one as a marinade as well. Let me get a little bit of that no-salt seasoning on this side. We'll start to cook that chicken. Here's the other way we're going to make this an absolutely not bland recipe is we're going to do a delicious fresh pineapple salsa to put over that chicken and to serve right on top. Turn that up just a little bit, sizzling away though, that's what you want to hear. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil, um, which is of course the heart healthy oil that you want to be using. And there's a couple others out there, but that's one that I, that is my kind of my go-to. You know, at Intermountain Medical Center, Heart Institute in Murray, it's just one of the leading heart centers in the nation. And you know, some of their tips is also doing a variety of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, low fat dairy products, but skinless poultry and fish along with nuts and legumes. Okay, let's go ahead and make that sauce. We're gonna put half of it in with the chicken and then we're gonna do, um, we're gonna leave half of it to put, to baste right at the end before you serve it. Here's my lime, gonna take it, just kinda roll it out to get the most juices there. It's already smelling good. Okay, take some of that lime juice. I'm gonna reserve some of my lime juice though also for when we make our pineapple salsa on the next segment. Oh, that is so good over that chicken. Let's get some of that lime juice in there. Let's season it, a little bit of black pepper. Again, some of that no salt seasoning. We're gonna get some crushed red, uh, red pepper flakes. A little bit of that in that sauce. And then balancing all of that out with just a little bit of honey, a little sweetness to go in there. Let's take that sauce, mix it through. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my chicken in just a second before I add the sauce in there. Um, but it's just gonna give a lot of good flavor as it cooks through. Now, like I said, we're gonna reserve half of it. When we plate it, put a little bit of that sauce and then serve it with that pineapple salsa. Let's talk about that. When we make it on the second segment, we're gonna use some pineapple there. A little bit of that lime juice is gonna go in. Some cilantro, um, some jalapeno, like a jalapeno if you choose to, like I said, a little bit of red onion there. And uh, so we'll put together uh, Carrie and Dan, that delicious fresh pineapple salsa, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip the chicken in my pan. Just want to make sure that it cooks all the way through, looking beautiful so far. A little bit more seasoning on that side. There we go. All right, we're on our way to a delicious, heart-healthy lunch, easy dinner idea, whatever you choose. But Carrie and Dan, I think you're going to really like it with the, the sauce that we're using along with that fresh uh, pineapple salsa. Yeah, that pineapple salsa sounds good. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jen. And if you want the recipe, visit fox13now.com. Search chicken with pineapple.